it is uh, morning. It's about 8.30. And uh, we've been glassing for a couple hours. Only seen elk kind of everywhere I look. But at least it's uh, sunny today. So it's not uncommon to, to not really see bears move early in the morning. And they start to pop around 10, 11, really all day after that. So, um, yesterday was a lot of rain squalls, a lot of storms, a lot of snow, intermittent. It was a rough, rough day for weather. Um, we didn't see any bears at all, but Lampers and uh, Livesey, Brad, they're way down canyon from us and they saw sow and two cubs and a medium bear. And apparently Livesey tried to get on that bear. I think he got within 350 yards, but it sounds like they never really left the timber yesterday. They were tucked deep into the timber and they were just seeing bits and pieces of bears moving around in there, but nothing out in the open. So... I don't know. Don't know. I mean, things could change on a dime here soon. But it's definitely a, a much better day. I would not be surprised if we kill a bear today. Yesterday would have been um, abnormal to get a bear in those conditions. But today, this is looking sweet. So hopefully those bears get on their feet and they start sniffing around looking for the green salad bowls and the chartreuse grass and boom Brent shoots his first black bear here's Dennis side here let me Nice bear. I mean, he looks nice enough. He's actually... I don't know what kind of climb it would be, but... Here, come look through the viewfinder. Well, surprise, surprise, Brian, Brian spotted a bear. Not the one we were after for the last uh, two days, but one that's like a mile and a half down the canyon, a couple thousand feet up, other side. So we just packed up camp uh, as quickly as we possibly could. We're gonna take a quick peek and see if that other bear that we've been sitting up here waiting on does show up. And then uh, we're going to boogie down, hop on the raft, cross the river, run down. It's about 2 o'clock right now. So we've got about five hours total of light left before it's just not. We'll see. But, but 
this bear is pretty. He's a, he's not a giant, but he's, he's a bright red brown diamond and I'm all about that. So, wish us luck. goes to a straight drop off. Even when you can see the river, you still got a long way to go. How you feeling? Okay. I was feeling pretty sore this morning. And I knew this was coming. I was a little worried about it, but I'm warming up as you can see. <laughs> Not too bad. Alright, well. We're about to the bottom. Gonna cross this river again. And then on the trail on the other side. See if we can relocate that red cinnamon bear. Let's see. It takes so long to cover ground in this country. It's so thick and nasty and steep. Even though you see a bear, it doesn't mean you can get it. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's just a big point of that. Uh, also, I saw Wade come to the you know, Oh, you did? I don't know if you saw us, though. Okay. Like, okay. Brand, do you have your 
dogs.
Reload, reload, reload. 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 Oh, that scared me. He kept going up, going up, and I was running out of room to elevate the rifle. <laughs> As you can see, the, I had to ditch that. Oh. oh, man. I did not want to be the guy. You know what I mean? He's a pretty bear. Not very big, but he's pretty bear. In here. I'm excited. He looks pretty. I, like, I, I, I'm down to have a red bear like that. It's not like I have a bunch to compare him with. So, My, uh, my favorite bear I own favorite bear skin is actually in our house that blonde one that sits on a chair and That's uh my favorite too it's about that size the bear i shot mm -hmm. but gosh man it just ended up being such a gorgeous coat yep. it's not very big but you just it's just the color pops right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. thanks <laughs> Congrats, brother. Oh, that was a that was a team effort, Bear. <laughs> Dude, you have been working your butt off today. Yeah. Well, all week, the whole time. Congratulations. Yeah, this is a good five-day hunt. <laughs> this is a, this country's a workout, I can tell you. Oh yeah, yeah. The thing is, the rule is, if it gets you excited, go for it. Yeah. And and you were excited. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we uh, saw that. I'm, I'm more excited for this one than the larger black one we were, we were going for. The color is spectacular. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. That cinnamon. The big chocolate Those, that I got two years ago. Yeah, the, the claws man. look cool too. People, I, I don't think people realize their claws are the same color as the fur. Yeah. Like, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he moved down and across to the other ridge. That SOB. <laughs> oh. I, I looked down and I, I was like, is that... Is that him? Oh, I just saw a barely a shiny <laughs> brown fur behind that mm -hmm. black log. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, he just kind of in a ball. And I'm like, wait a minute. There he wait is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was secretly hoping he was much bigger. But. It's hard to tell when you're that far away over there. Uh -huh. and, you know. Yeah. But it's been hard to come by a bear yeah. in range. I just wanted Brent to get a bear. Yep. Same. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. Same. Just get his first bear. Yep. Put your tag on it. Hell get that yeah. skinned out. Get the meat. Get the hide. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about a hide. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is, I haven't been hunting with Brent since 2000, 14? since Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales. 2012. I think Last time I went bear hunting. Yep. Brent didn't have a tag, just Chad and I did. and That was a dope hunt. It was pretty that cool. Was, that was one of the... It was one for the record rooks, so that's oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Man, you should have heard the inside of my head just cussing <laughs> this bear out the whole hike up here. <laughs> you son of a gun. You didn't did, did, move on me like that. Ooh. Yeah, it was... Perfect. You waited for a really good shot. Um, no, the only thing that I was... I started panicking because he started going up the hill. And I didn't want to have to like readjust too much of my gun and stuff. And so like, I was starting to knock dirt out of the way so I'd get a little more elevation on the gun. No, it looks good. He rolled. He rolled him. Yep. <sighs> I missed it, dang it. <laughs> I was sitting there just when I got up to, I was gonna just check, cause I looked at you and you were shifting around. I'm like, oh, maybe he needs uh, uh, an adjustment on the front. And then, boom, the shot went off. I was like, I look back in the bolt bear, just tumbling <laughs> down the hill. I abandoned, yeah. I, I missed the cam, the camera didn't catch too much of the tumble because yeah. of that, but. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. No. If he kept going, which I didn't see him, it was downhill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, the, that, those logs and those brushes, you think he's stuck right there? No, he's on the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Well, now the work begins. Well, 
thing, Brad sent me home with his old Steri pen. <laughs> I left my new one with him. Yeah. <laughs> um. We could, we could do it though. Yeah. If uh, as long as neither none of us fall to our death, we got it made. Yeah. You're twice my age, sir. <laughs> Well, that's a long tumble to the bottom. Yep. I don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got to make our way yep. over. Look right here. I think that looks a little. It gets you're on the face of the rocks, depending on how slick they are. Do you see that rock that fell earlier? Yeah. Broken like six pieces. That could be us. How's six-year-old Wayne feeling? Good. They gonna look easy? I know, he's kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big fellow, Brett. Yeah. Us lightweight dudes. Whoa. I've seen your son hike. I <sighs> see where he gets it. Bingo! This thing got a ding in it earlier. It was like half flat. How? My muscles. It's coming down the hill, and you know how it is. All of a sudden, be. your footing's just gone. I don't know where it went, <laughs> and I just chucked the poles in the air because I knew they'd get in the way. And then I and I was going face first too, so I just curled into the ball. And I went, timber! I fell like four feet. Whack! Landed in a pile of brush. And the water bottle was right here. And I felt the water bottle just take a hit. Wham! But I didn't feel it. Like, it Better like, that than your hip. And I'm like, oh, nothing. That was easy. Stood up. And I pulled my water bottle out and it was bent in half. I was like, oh, <laughs> crap. I was surprised it didn't pop a hole. For real. And then I, I just stood on it and popped it out. And, so yeah, microlite bottle. <laughs> All right, we just got to climb up here and then. Just got it. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to you in 45 minutes, guys. <laughs> Maybe an hour. Hey, we're making good time. Hey, nobody died. No. On nobody that, died. and that was the scariest. That was a sketchy part. <laughs> we're My all. Life could be mad at hell at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're home free now. Yeah. Oh, that was a rodeo. Been looking for this bear for probably an hour. He's he's here somewhere. <laughs> I see him. Pretty bear. Look at that color. Look how long and luscious that is. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty coat. It's nice yeah. and long. Oh. He tumbled a little bit. Yes, he did. I went and looked at the video and I saw he shot him right by that log right there. I was like, oh, there's a log and at the end of it is a burnt stump. And then there's a tree, a little white patch on it that's burned at the bottom but not at the top. Boom. I was like, there it is. I told Wayne, I'm like, yeah. that's the log. He's here. It helps to have video. It does. <laughs> it does. I took a picture up on the ridge and we were trying, but it, uh, it wasn't as good as the video. 
Oh, that's a relief. I was getting worried. We've got like, like 45 minutes before it gets dark, and I wasn't sure we were going to... I don't want to look for an animal in the dark. That's not my thing. No. No, no, no. Cool, huh? She's yours, bud. <laughs> You know what we're gonna try? Bear paw soup. Bear paw soup. <laughs> yes, 100%. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> Did you know how much a bowl of bear paw soup costs in China? 900 US dollars. 900 US dollars. That's a paycheck, y'all. That's a good paycheck. Oof. Dang. He's been working these claws too. Got some blood underneath some of them. Might be his. We spotted that bear from so far away. Brent's like, I'll kill him. I'll, we'll go. And I'm like, dude. It's on the way. It's in the same direction as the truck is. We basically just swung into the neighborhood, shot a bear, picked it up, and now we're going home. Oh, it's a relief. I got to stay now. <laughs> My, my, my first thought was, you did it, you can let your hair down, relax, and then my next thought was, I don't have to come back. <laughs> it's a drive. Uh, that's cool. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this week's film. As you can see, we got... Brent Call over here, the gritty broman. And uh, are you a dwarf or are you I'm a man? Are you a Viking? I'm a man. A Viking or dwarf? Uh, uh, we got a few more than a few comments about the uh, the beard there. Yeah. Uh, but first bear. First ever. bear ever. And we're going to talk about that in, in just a minute and get into Brent's rafting skills and his, uh, his lethal neck shot. If you guys watch that closely so we'll get into a little bit of that anyway before we do we have two big giveaways going on right now one you can win a pse bow yes the evo xf brand new bow plus all rigged out arrows the whole thing get it all and also a trip to the total archery challenge all expenses paid in G july 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 20 20th through the 23rd the one of those days thank you brad mm -hmm. So, uh, if you want to win a bow, and if you want to win uh, the whole setup, we fly you out. The guys at Wild Arrow are going to get it all dialed in for us, and then we're all going to hit the mountain together, and you're going to shoot with us and our friends. All you got to do is go shop at Mountain Ops. And every dollar you spend gets you entered to win, and we're going to pick those winners on June. The week of June 26th. There we go. Hmm. It's nice having Brad around. <laughs> yep. <y> <laughs> By the way, uh, leave a comment below if you think Brad should shave. The beard shorter and the hairdo. I don't care or, what you guys say. So <laughs> or keep it longish. <laughs> We're about I, there. We could start braiding we have, this bad boy. I don't know. We have I don't mixed know. Uh, comments in the comment section. I'm curious uh, what everyone thinks about uh, the ginger. The ginger. It's uh, not like your comments matter anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the other giveaway we have going on is with uh -huh. Go Hunt. Right now, uh -huh. if you go shop at the Go Hunt Gear Shop, you can be entered to win a huge prize Dang. package. That's uh, a lot of crud. And Brad's going to read off what's in that package. Yeah. Yep, there's a lot. So we got arrows. We got a uh, bow sight. Bow sight. Dark energy. You got a rifle or an ammo wallet. You got trekking poles, gators, headlamp. You got broadheads. Uh, you got a stealthy package. You also got a swag bag from. It's got to be worth. Uh, game bags, everything. How much? Uh, Four or 5, it's, it's about $3,500. I was going to say mm -hmm. that. Okay. Alone's like $1, yep. $1, All right. So if you, right now you get a bunch of points every time you shop at the Go Hunt gear shop and use the code gritty, plus okay. you'll save like 10%. So you save there, but if you want 150 points toward, uh, or yeah. Yeah. You get 150 extra entries, entries. if you become an insider member. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if you go and you check out Go Hunt's insider membership, you can get to that big, old, big old, uh, uh, entry, and you also get the fifty dollar credit towards the gear shop when you buy the insider membership. Because the membership is one hundred fifty bucks, but if you spend uh, if you spend that, you'll get a fifty dollar uh, gift card to the gear shop. So it's really about a hundred bucks 
but it gets you entered to win. I don't know how many people will be going for the, the, that many entries, but yeah, it's, a, it's big. But yeah, support us if you if you've got the if you're going to shop at the gear shop, you can support us by going there and and uh, get in on the giveaway. Also, on the bow giveaway, we have Leopold. Correct. Leopold is throwing in um, the full uh, the full draw five, full draw five, and then a pair of BX, range finder BX four ten by forty two binoculars, and then you also get a five hundred dollar swag bag from Mountain Ops as well. Just go shop at Mountain Ops; you'll be entered to win. Go shop at Go Hunt; you'll be entered to win. Yep. Use the code Gritty, and you'll be entered to win. Um, yeah, let's talk about this. Well, we got we got our YouTube winner. Oh, that's right. So we were, yeah, uh, if you left a comment last week, which was awesome, there was a ton of right, comments a plus. Of the Instagram shares mm -hmm. were awesome too. So we're going to give away uh, this right now. Brad's going to randomly select somebody off of the yeah. YouTube uh, comment S section. So the winner is going to get an all-in digiscoping setup. Yeah, all-in digiscoping setup, which is epic. It's, it's the word epic. It's just awesome, okay? If you haven't used one, check it out because Brad has it on his phone right now. Correct. It's got a little magnet that goes on the eyepiece, and you just plop it on. You can do it vertical or, or horizontal. It fits exact every time, and you're instantly recording. It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, wish I had had that years ago, because the competitors don't, and this is much better. Yep. All right, YouTube winner is James Ford. Says, glad to see Gritty Broman Brent out looking fit. Y'all hunt some wild, steep country, and it pays off in animals and adventure. I hope to do a hunt like this soon and hopefully can shoot a wolf out from under someone too. <laughs> great wolf and great spotting, Ryan. <laughs> Those are good aspirations. Uh, yes. My heart still hurts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm super, super happy for Ryan. Like we always are. Yeah. So last week, if you shared this video on your Instagram, you were entered to win a pair of peaks poles, a pair of tree peaks trekking poles. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got a winner. That winner is Callie underscore bow hunter. Watching this on the plane to Maui. Holy hell, is this a good one. And then he has Watch Here, Big Bad Wolf, and he tagged all three of us. Right on. Heck yeah. Well, thank you, Callie Bowhunter. Okay, we have two more giveaways. Right now, if you leave a comment on this YouTube video, you'll be entered to win a brand new blue cooler. Huh? Uh, we got one right here, and uh, it's pretty sweet. It's it's very, we've been running them now for probably uh, three or four months. Mm -hmm. And you got to check them out. We love the guys over there. We'll introduce mm -hmm. you to them probably in a couple of weeks. Yes. Get them on the podcast uh, and talk about it. But if you're in the market for a cooler, check them out. But you'll be entered to win the cooler if you leave a comment. And then uh, for Instagram. Instagram, we've got a stealthy rifle cover. Stealthy rifle cover. We're at the Western Hunting Summit, by the way. Ryan Lampers has got the summit going on this weekend. That's what we're up to. Lots of cool people here. Been shooting bows and hanging out, eating good food and learning from some of the best like Joel Turner. Jace Phelps, Brian Barney, Brian Barney, Barney, and more. So it's been a cool weekend. Yes. And Lampers, but, uh, I guess he was here too. Yeah, Lampers, I guess Ryan, like, he's somewhere Ryan doesn't here. talk to anybody. <laughs> it's like he, just, he just walks around silent in places. But yeah, it's the Western Hunting Summit. You'll be entered to win a rifle oh. cover. Just share the, the film on Instagram. And uh, let's, let's talk about this bear hunt. Some things you missed in the video because mm -hmm. it's not in there. Yeah. Brett, Brett and I went up on top of this mountain after a giant bear, which we had been staked out on that was in a den for two days. We kept waiting for this bear to pop out. And just when just when uh, we were running out of time, I spotted the, the red cinnamon bear down canyon. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we talked about it. Do we stay here and hope that giant comes back out? Or do we go for the cinnamon bear? And Brent's like, Cinnamon bear all the way. It wasn't like, even a dot. I don't care color. about how big it is. I care about the color. Yeah. And that was that was uh kind of kind of funny. Um so I'm like, well, it's your it's your bear. I really wanted Brent to be able to get his first bear on this trip. So it was a red bear with a white chest spot. Yeah. That it, was cool. Yeah. So I had concerns it wasn't very big, and those were accurate concerns. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh in this area we were hunting. It's it's a very high bear density, and it's, it's one of those things where we usually try to go for the oldest animal we can. Yeah, it's better for the population and so on. Uh, but in some of these areas, like this one that has a high predator count, both in the the, the lions, the bears, and the, and the wolves. wolves. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> these uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty rough on the 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 other critters in the population. Yeah, and in those areas. 
we're pretty willing to take anything given the conservation goals of the unit. So we charged down there and right as Brandon and I got to the bottom, we were crossing the river. Brad is on the other side. I mean, it was actually, we weren't even, we were about two thirds down the mountain. Yeah. And that giant black bear. This, this does haunt me a little Came bit. out of its Come den. Down. If we had just stayed there another 30 minutes, yep. we would have shot that bear. We, we had a real close shot. We were close. Close we were ones. set up right on the den, waiting for him to come out for two days. And uh, it goes to show, you know, we, I was confident that he was, you know, in that little spot in those rocks and that he was going to come out. We know uh, a lot of these bears that early in the season, they pop out of their dens and then they, they hang out for a while, maybe a week, even longer mm -hmm. around those dens. And we, we knew that the odds were, it was so early. We had snow the day before that this bear was was right there. And per our hunch, he was, but we had already rolled out. And that bear came down the mountain right where we had come down, just off a little bit to the side. Didn't didn't pick up our scent or anything. But these guys filmed it coming down the mountain and yeah. while we were leaving it behind. And the while we were crossing the river, that bear was probably 250 yards above us, just eating Fairly grass. Long. And, uh, but that's hunting. And, uh, in the end, Brent doesn't care because he wanted the red one. Um, the red one, yeah. but we climbed down there. We got that. We met, met up with Brad's dad and we, 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 uh, shot up the face of that and got on that bear. And, um, in Brent's defense, since the shot, it was a 338 oh, RPM, uh. weather be 338 RPM around through the, through the skull, the back of the, the neck, actually the base of the skull and it, came out the throat not not exactly the shot that was precision planned. shooting <laughs> i'd like hey, those the light switches got flipped off man. i'd like to say that that was intentional but what happened was we had we had tested the rifle brad and i just before we left and it was shooting to the right a few and so we knew how many clicks we needed to move it mm -hmm. to bring the I'm shot i'm gonna defend to the myself left. here and brian said i'll i'll adjust it and change it real quick well that didn't happen <laughs> so <laughs> When we got set up on there, I, I was, when I was messing around with Brent, getting him on the, and I got him all dialed, I actually dialed the rifle a little bit to a few clicks to the wrong, the wrong direction. direction. So not only was he off by like four or five inches, I added another five inches to it uh, on the shot. And I, afterward, I was just like kicking myself, but all was well that ends well. Yeah. Yeah. That fishing game officer was holding my bear skull <laughs> and he's like a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Brent got his first bear, which yeah. is really awesome. We got all the, the, the meat and, uh, the, the hide is getting tanned and, uh, it was great. I was really impressed with Brent This is, um, a tough hunt. A lot of people, um, can't do what you did climbing those mountains. I wouldn't have been down. able to do that three, four years ago. Just wouldn't have. Yeah. I think, uh, last time folks saw you on the podcast, you were 60 pounds heavier. Sure. Yeah. 60. It was oh, only it? 60. It wasn't 85. <laughs> okay. 85 pounds. It was a I, lot of pounds heavier. Three years ago, the summer, three years ago, I was, th I hit 315. Yeah. Yeah. I was impressed. I was like, you, you hung through it. You were fit. You, you climbed that thing. Wayne, um, Wayne made it look easier than you, than you did, but Wayne climbed up that, that face of the mountain with us holding the rifle with like, <laughs> I, he didn't even use the, the trek and pole. pole half the time. Yeah. And he was 30, 40 feet ahead of me the entire time. Yeah. He shot up there. He's a, he's 60, just turned 60. Yeah. At that, time, my that time he was 60 for about two, three weeks, three weeks, basically. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that, that was, that was cool. Some people mentioned in the last video that. Uh, Ryan Lampers should have let you or your dad shoot the wolf mm -hmm. and that it was selfish that Ryan decided to shoot the wolf and <laughs> not give the wolf to you guys. I know. Um, uh, how, what do you feel? How do you feel about that? I honestly, like, I don't, I don't feel the remorse towards <laughs> that because I'm super happy that Ryan got it. He spotted it. I mean, it would have been cool. Like if my dad and I would have waited 15 minutes, we would have got it. Yeah. But on the other side of things, like my dad he hasn't killed a wolf, but he has killed a lot of animals. That's what I, a lot of animals. I was under the impression when some people left those comments, I was under the impression that they felt bad for your dad as if he hadn't had right. a lifetime of crap. I would say that your dad and Ryan have 
killed similar numbers of animals. Yeah, uh, like, absolutely. Like your dad has done a ton with a recurve. He's killed tons of monster elk. He's, your dad is, is a, killer. a badass that nobody knows about. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, basically. And he wants to keep it that way. <laughs> and uh, he Ryan, sure does, man. You put that camera on him. He just. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Wayne? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> dad, you know. like the camera. Good. Uh, like the camera. But it was awesome being with your dad. I have tremendous respect for him. He's uh, definitely the, um, you know, he, he knows what he's doing out there. So when you guys were out there, none of us even thought about that. We're no. there to compete. And, and I'll be Nobody honest. Nobody wants any charity from Ryan. Right. And I, and I will admit too, like on, in the moment, on the hunt, it never really crossed my mind that like, oh, I'm so pissed off that Ryan killed this wolf. It never crossed my mind. Yeah. I, after, we're going to make jokes about yeah, it. Yeah. And after the he, fact, you know, the comments and I'm reading them and I'm like, yeah, and maybe there's a little bit there, but during the moment and all that, there was zero, there was nothing. Like I was super happy for Ryan. And I'm glad we all as a team got it done. Any type of wolf goes down as a cause for mm -hmm. celebration. Well, the other thing too is, uh, you know, we're tuning in next week and you'll see Brad get redemption mm -hmm. on his own. And uh, it's got to feel good because um, you you did it all by yourself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're all kind of like, look, I, I want to compete, but I want to win without any assistance correct like, and i want to rub it in that i got something that you didn't yeah and, and yeah. you can't do that if i just go yeah. soft and let you shoot it exactly. instead so. exactly and the thing is too is you know we go touch back on my dad like i'm grateful for that because he his whole entire life had hunted like that mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i get asked all the time what's the transition been for you going from not working in the hunting industry to working with brian and ryan and it's like the hunting side of it Nothing changed. That's how I grew yeah. up hunting. My mm -hmm. grateful for my dad to teach me that, you know, yeah. I've yeah. had that opportunity. So. It is Father's Day. It is Father's Day. So Happy love Father's you dads. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day. Uh, it, it seems appropriate for this film. Yeah. And um, looking forward to more hunts with your dad. Me too. Me too. Uh, he definitely can hack it. So uh, <laughs> we just need to pull him off the construction jobs. Well, he's a workaholic. Mm -hmm. And get him out there workaholic. some more. Um, I'm sure happy he let, showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about uh let's talk about um brent's rafting skills my supreme questionable rafting questionable skills. questionable <laughs> Dude, what, any the, landing you can walk away from is a good landing the first the first time he crossed brad it was it was bad he almost uh he almost went under because he rode right up to where that current is jetting out yeah i, I don't know why because he and and then he got nailed you know it, what because he's standing here out. In the film, and I don't, that was the first time me watching it, like actually seeing Brent on the raft, you can see the fear in his eyes. <laughs> there's a little there's uncertainty. A dead straight stare. When, what's funny is he comes across and then, and then, uh, the rapids, um, don't do, they just kick him right back out. And he's like, well, okay. So the second time he goes across, he gives it all he's got. Yeah. Um, we had, uh, Hunter McWaters went up and he said he almost drowned. You know, those rivers are nothing to, uh, no joke you know take for granted mm -hmm. got to be serious about all that kind of stuff and you know that was a pretty easy crossing as our crossings go yeah so the way the brits like <laughs> spinning in circles and rowing backwards i'm like we've, all right we've, we've had some sketchy ones i've yeah. never ridden in such a lightweight watercraft of any kind like i've done canoes and they're a lot heavier yeah. that yeah. thing well spins on a dime well, i'll say this like uh seeing looking in the film and stuff and seeing it you know for the first time when you were editing it brian is those rafts like any packable raft, you got to make sure that it is blowing up over and over to make sure it is tight yeah, or it's mm -hmm. not going to handle the way you want it to. And it'll taco you. Yeah. And it, they do respond. Bad. They are very responsive. responsive they're, yeah. they're floating high on the water and they're tiny, tiny lightweight. Yeah. When you put, when you put gear in the baffles inside the cargo fly uh, and, it, and it weights it down inside, it's, it's much more uh, stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're in a hurry to cross, so we just threw the packs on top wow. and then bolted down. But mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed the film. Uh, tune in next Sunday for for the next one. And we got we got a number of hunts. Uh, we're going to try to keep this ball rolling for the next uh, four to five weeks or so with yeah. films every Sunday. So tune in for another Gritty Sunday next week. Thanks again. And uh, don't forget about our bow giveaway with Mountain Ops. Yep. Just shop at Mountain Ops, use the code GRITTY, save, and uh, get entered to win, and go shop at Go Hunt. And uh, that helps us keep doing what we do. We appreciate all of you. Can't say that enough. Thank you, and uh, stay gritty. <laughs>